my lash keeps poking me in this inner corner and I'm like, girl, I'm out. What's up you guys, it's Courtney Fierce here and welcome back to another video. Today's video we're going to be turning myself into Chloe, Miss Angel for you guys. This is the photo right there. So if you guys want to see me turn myself into this, then keep on watching. But first before you go, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below to join the Fierce family and as well turn on those post notifications so that you're notified every single time when this Fierce Angel uploads. Let's get right into this Bratz pack themed video. All right, so first things first, I just wanna say I am wearing a shirt for YouTube guideline purposes. We're doing the Chloe picture, which is right here. So I'm looking to recreate that look today. So first I'm gonna go in with the strawberry cheesecake palette from Revolution. This is what the palette looks like right there. To begin with, it looks like she has a very pink lid. So I think I wanna mix these two shades right here and pop those right onto my lid. I might mix this shade here as well. And then for the crease, I'm gonna go in with this color right here. So I'm going to do that and pop that right on the lid and into my crease. So for a brush, I'm going to use the Jeffree Star JS11 Morphe X Jeffree Star brush. And I'm just going to put a little bit of setting spray on it. And I'm going to take that shade syrup and that shade petal. And we're just going to pop that right here on the lid. Now with the JS9 brush from Morphe. So I'm going to take the shade Baby and mix in a little bit of that shade called Flavor. And we're going to take it on this brush and mix it right into my crease. So I feel like that looks similarly to what she has on her eye. So now I'm just going to do the same thing on the other eye and I will explain everything what I did step by step. So on the blending brush, I took most of the shade flavor right there and put that into my crease. And then I took that shade called strawberry and I took it on a tiny detailer brush. This is the JS 13 and I literally stamped the color like right in here to almost mimic a similar crease as Chloe has. So I just noticed she has kind of a darker sort of crease moment. I'm looking at it right here on my phone. It almost looks like you could really go in with probably like almost like a graphic liner thing with liquid liner. But my eyes are so creased that I feel like it will probably end up like right into my brow bone. So I think what I'm going to do is there is a shade called Earth in this palette. It's the shade right here. And that little brush that I took to stamp in strawberry into my crease, I'm going to stamp earth in there to give myself a darker shadow. So I'm just literally taking it on the same brush. We're just going to... Stamp it in like that. There we go. I think that I'm happy with that. In the end, I might go in with my fluffy brush and kind of like blend out that crease a little bit. But for right now, I think I'm good. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do my winged liner. It's kind of a tiny wing towards the inner. I'm going to do a giant kind of wing all the way up. And I'm going to come right back on to show you guys that. The pen that I'm using is the Essence Eyeliner Pen in Waterproof. This is supposed to be a dupe for Stila. Several days later. So after like 20 years, let's just not pay attention to how bad the wing liner is. I don't know. I just, even though I took makeup artistry in school, I don't know. She's, she's a whole other ball game. If you don't do liquid liner very often, like it's honestly so hard to do. And then people are like, oh my God, liquid liner is so easy. I'm like, no, it literally took me like an hour. Like, thanks. But I'm going to remove these eye tapes and we'll come right back to do the bottom lash line as well as the lash. Okay. So for the bottom lash, feeling a little bit daring. So let's do the shade strawberry, that one right there. Let's do that one on the lower lash line. And we're going to take this on a Moda Pro brush. This is the BMX 498 line brush. I'll list all the brushes down below that I use anyways. So yeah, before I do my lashes, let's do my face base. I have two new products here. Well, new to me anyways. They're the Revolution Conceal and Hydrate line. So I have the concealer and the foundation. So let's just do that. 
see how these react to my skin. I'm going to try with no primer just to see kind of what the whole hype is about. This one does have a pump. So I'm very excited about that because I feel like the brushes that you kind of like stick back in a bunch are like really unhygienic. So especially if you get like acne, usually you don't get acne underneath the eyes, but like on your face and then you're putting them back in like, no, thank so, you. Side note, foundation is very, very, very runny. So be careful with that because usually I pump it on my finger and then put it all over my face. But oh my goodness, I like literally dropped it all over my pants. Personally, the foundation isn't my favorite on my skin. It looks very matte still. It's not as hydrating as I'd like it, to be honest, but I don't think anything's ever gonna beat my Rebel in Color Stay. It's just so good. The, I don't know, it's making me look very dry, but I mean, it kind of matches my body-ish. I get the shade F1, I believe. Yes, F1. I'm not sure, just because I feel like around my mouth, maybe because it's so full coverage, like down here, I don't have anything up here yet. But all down here looks very, I don't know, maybe I'm just not used to full coverage. Now, I don't know how much of this to use. So I guess we'll start out with that and see. I'm kind of scared. Honestly, really like the coverage of this concealer. Yeah, that shell looks good. I look so photoshopped. Oh my god. I look like a porcelain doll. I'm gonna go set my face. Powder today. I used the Monica Dar HD High Press Powder. I think that's what it's called. High Perfecting Powder. So good. I've been using this ever since I did that whole box thing. I love it. Literally 10 out of 10. I would never like say that about like a lot of products. You guys know me once I get on like products, I don't budge, but like and that has replaced my AOA powder. By far, it's replaced my Max Fix Plus. Bad girl, like that's the only one for me now. I'm gonna darken up my um, lower lash line and then we'll come right back to, um, so that I can show you guys the lashes. The lashes are on and these are by Pretty Nightmares, which is one of my friend's companies and they're in the style Angel Wings. They'll be listed down below as well. They're really cute. Like I feel like, honestly, I feel like I'm that bitch right now. Like I feel like I am a brat. So let's get right into contour and blush. So for contour today, I have the I Heart Revolution Fair Contouring Palette. This is the two shades right here. We have a highlighter as well as a contour. We're gonna try out both today. And then I do have the Essence Mosaic Blush and this is in the shade All You Need Is Pink. I felt like this would really go with the whole like, you know, red top, like kind of pinky sort of like vibe. So I'm taking the contour on a BH Cosmetics. 13 brush. Okay, so now we got me contoured to be a brat. Let's go with the little blush. We're gonna take this on a Luxie 524 Small Dua Fiber Brush. This is my favorite blush brush ever. Like, oh my god, it's literally stained. This blush has a little bit of glow in it too, so it should make us look very ditzy. That's what I want to look like. I want to look ditzy today. Now we're going to try the highlighter on a AOA Studio F19 brush. It looks like this. Let's see how this performs. Oh my goodness. Okay, wait, this is so blinding. This actually makes me look like Chloe because she always has a super blinding highlight. Like, I feel like Chloe to me is very, like, icy. So, faux freckles was the worst idea ever. Should not have done it. But you know what? You live and you learn. That's the first time that I'm ever, do that I'm ever doing it. So I'm gonna take this white eyeliner. This is in the shade Milk by NYX Cosmetics. And then for my lip, I'm going to take the Rimmel London 107 shade. And I'll be right back to show you the final Chloe makeup. Okay, so that is everything for this look right there. Here is my Chloe from Bratz inspired makeup. Everybody now, time to show the whole world what we're all about. We the girls with the passion for passion. Ooh, Bratz, we'll always be there for each other. Ooh, Bratz, yeah. Styling how we feel, talking about best friends. Yeah. Together we can do anything. Let me know. 
know what you guys think about this Chloe inspired brats look. I am so brats pack worthy. I look so bitchy. I'm going to the movies after this and I'm about to like stunt on all these bitches because like bitch I look rich. I look sickening. I feel like I definitely did Chloe Miss Angel proud. I love you guys all so much. Thank you so much for watching and thank you so much to my bestie Yasmin for picking out this Chloe inspired Bratz Pack look. I love you so much, girly, and I love all of you guys so much. Make sure to give this video a big, huge thumbs up and subscribe down below to join the Fierce family. I make new videos every single Fierce Friday, and there will be more Bratz inspired makeup tutorials coming up very soon. I love you guys all so much. Peace out, Bratz Pack. <laughs>